kind of cool. Now, guys, the moment of truth. Now we have what came out just wait, wait how many hours was it? it came out six hours ago as a um, uh, as a reaction. So we're gonna watch the Overwatch hero called Juno. Juno's here. She has been announced. She's at Space Marine. Uh, I guess she's a healer. So we're going to see a little bit of gameplay of this. So those of you who want to see the video of Juno in action for her uh, debut, uh, come over here on YouTube, Shorts. They are great stuff, so we're going to play it. The video is only a minute and 57 minutes long. After that, we're going to go play Zenless. So let's play this right now. Let's go. Teach, I will leave now. I'm getting tired. All right, do your thing. All right, let's get this playing. Hmm. Bye, everyone, and have a nice day or night. You too, Mom. One small step at a time. <laughs> I am prepared to cause trouble. Ministering no aid. Have a good night, now. Nice. Yes, I got one. We will kick up a dust storm. Why? Oh, she can pull like more mercy. Supporting and team. Oh, sorry. Targeting. Hold on. Thanks for the help. Threat neutralized. Let's go. The fight is not over. Hyper ring out. Maximum velocity. Oh shit. Oh bro. So they mixed so they mixed the idea of Kir Kirito Kirito Kir um uh what her name? Kiriko? Kiriko. Kiriko and a little bit of I wouldn't say Mora when the healing, but it's it's oh no. They mix between uh Kiriko and Life Weaver. Cause he has that uh that homing uh ability where you can heal but he she can heal and attack at the same time with this i'm pretty sure that's not gonna be our primary that's gonna be like our secondary or something come get some of this looking satellite vector this is our ultimate overall right that must be the ultimate welcome to orbit peak performance <gasps> Now that's yeah. more like Whoa, Look out! Here I come! No signs of enemy life detected. <laughs> so wait, let me get this straight. The ultimate, if I'm assuming no what the luck. ultimate does. Kirito. Uh, Kiriko, yeah. Kiriko. I almost got Kirito <laughs> from Solar Art Line. So like, what, I'm, what I'm assuming here, how her ultimate works, she shoots like a hammer of dawn, like from, from Gears. It hits the floor, and I guess it gives two things: it gives healing and probably like um, attack buff for like a couple of seconds to like probably ten seconds at best. So it's kind of like um, like a mix between, I guess. If this is what I'm assuming, I'm not saying that's how it works. I didn't see it. we saw gameplay, but it, this one's more speculation based on how it's presented. So like, I'm assuming that. The way she moves, or the way the ultimate works, it gives both buff and healing at the same time. So it's like a mix between Life Weaver's healing with the giant tree, or like um, I don't think it's the same as Zen's. Um, but she also gives buff like Mercy. So when Mercy uses her ultimate, and you hold like I think right bumper, right bumper, depending if you're using the Xbox remote. Let's just say you're using the Xbox remote because I use that a lot. Uh, you give buff so it's kind of like that because it looks like in the video it looks like a mix between blue and yellow so i'm assuming that's what it does no so it, it hits the floor and gives everyone I like have a buff. no idea i thought you were talking about s-a-o-l-o-l no no i know it seemed like i was saying seo like kirito when it was kiriko no signs of enemy life detected <laughs> begins on that's in two days She's cute. 
She's a she's a cute design. Very cute design. She has Overwatch colors on. That's really cute. Um, let me see. Before we play over, uh, Zenless, I want to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect this to both. I'm gonna put two people in this same video. So like, this is the Master Ian Gamer. I guess he's gonna give us a little bit more of a. No um, one. I should use my Xbox mic. <laughs> so like it's three end gamer we just got the official reveal of the next upcoming new hero yes space ranger or as we now officially know her name to be juno she will properly be releasing with season 12 but a play test for this new hero will be starting tomorrow july 19th and Ooh. in this little teaser we might video, do that tomorrow we got our first look at not only the new hero in we might do that tomorrow we might play overwatch tomorrow just for that game but and i'm not banned anymore so let's go also all her abilities so i'm gonna go ahead and run through this little gameplay trailer of the brand new hero and talk about what we actually see happening here so the trailer itself starts off with Juno's pod coming down in Dorado. She flies right on out and immediately we get this sort of light, airy vibe to the hero. I think is the only way to really put it. Everything throughout this video, all of her abilities, all her movement, the sound effects, everything feels very light cutesy. and airy, which I guess very makes cutesy. sense for a hero with little gravity, you could say. Everything she does feels very floaty, which is an interesting direction for a so so she's kind of like a mix between Life Weaver in some ways, uh, Kiriko in some ways, and maybe Echo because Echo kind of moves similarly, similar, similarly in that sense. Let's go. So like, yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. We'll play this tomorrow. A hero. I'm curious to see what this is actually going to feel like playing her in game. If she really does no feel this floaty and LOL. bubbly, so to say, or if it's more just playing up the aesthetics of the hero in the trailer here. But either way, we do get a look at her abilities. First and foremost, her primary fire, which is the Medi Blaster, a SMG. Yes, Blizzard said they weren't going to give her an SMG, but it looks like they did anyways. Which from I bet you someone, someone on Twitter on the bird app is going to complain about her design in some way, some form. She's too cute. She's this, she's too that. Make her ugly. I can tell looks like Someone. a typical sort of burst fire SMG that seems to behave similar to Ana's primary fire in that its shots heal allies and also damage enemies. Oh, it doesn't so you can shoot seem that. to have two different oh, firing shit. modes. I didn't see that part. Rather is just a Holy shit, I didn't pay attention to that. I didn't know she can heal and attack as a primary fire. Okay. So it is like Ana. So she's a mix of Ana, Life Weaver, Echo, and I guess depending on Ultimate as you look at it, it's like kind of like a Mercy in that sense of the buff, and then also like any other hero who has like a uh, uh, a crowd control type uh, Ultimate when it comes to healing. A singular shot. I might like playing as her. We might see. I, I really hope she's good to use. That if it hits an ally, they're healed. If it hits an enemy, they're hurt. Which actually seems to be how a few different mechanics with this hero actually work. Next up, we get a look at what seems to be her personal mobility tool using her little Pulsar 1 jet boosters as part of the glide boost ability. It seems... Pretty similar to Echo's just sort of flight mechanic yeah, where she just gets a bit of airtime, seems to sort of float or glide around a bit as she's using it. Honestly, this feels very similar to Echo's flight ability from how we see it depicted here. And I will be curious to see in game how it actually differs, if at all, from that mechanic. And then we get this nice little bit here where she melees Venture by kicking them. So I suppose <laughs> she's taking a page out of Zenyatta's book and that her melee is a kick as opposed oh, to a shit. punch. And then and we Zen? She's Zen with the kicks? She got them legs though. She got them legs. It'll be kinda hard. It would be kind of like not believable if she's floating around and she ain't throwing some 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 kicks. You know what I'm saying? I think fellas, man of culture, if you if you're a man of culture, you know what I'm talking about. You got them legs. You know I'm sucking for them legs too. Come on. If that's her primary, I'm gonna be I'm gonna love playing as her kicking motherfuckers in the face. Second ability, Pulsar Torpedoes. So what these appear to be are an auto-targeting, auto-lock-on sort of like rocket pod type thing, which again, targets both allies and enemies. 
and then deals damage to enemies, but heals allies. That seems to be how it works based on what we see here, which definitely suggests a sort of simplistic kit and play style overall, if you ask me. If it is as straight up simple as it's just an auto locking mechanic, I'm kind of curious to see how people end up receiving this. People have talked a lot about auto seeking, you know, rockets and weapons and stuff for Overwatch. And of course, Symmetra back in the day had a sort of auto locking primary fire. So I'm curious to see how this ends up getting received if it is an ability that just sort of auto locks onto targets, right, especially one Samurai. that can focus on both yep, allies right, and legs. enemies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see the amount of actual damage and healing it goes out, cooldown and everything like that. But moving on to her third ability, then we have the hyper ring yes the highly this is literally speed boost mechanic i, I don't that know we've known about for a while technically this one this ultimate feels kind of weird because it just feels like kiriko because the way she even looks she looks like an asian uh character based on just looks alone so it's just like kiriko but just in space to a certain well not kiriko all the way but like you know what i'm saying at this point where she fires out a speed ring and yes this is just a vertical standing speed ring like what you would find in like a racing game so to say where it seems like once her or her teammates move through it they get a speed boost yeah pretty simple pretty clear cut we even see her getting what looks to be a potential super jump while under the effects of the speed ring as we see her and her allies jumping up on or the maybe what it does it not only gives you speed but it also makes you lighter that's probably what it does because her whole thing is gravity. So that probably is a thing we didn't notice. We only saw her do it, but maybe that's how it works. So like when you jump, you are less, you're less, you're much more lighter and it's much more grift on grift grip on using the movements like that. Maybe that's how it works here so again we don't know the exact details of the mechanics for this we don't know the numbers for the cooldown or the exact effects of speed boost but it does look like some sort of speed boost ability with a super jump tied to it and then last of all we get a look at her ultimate ability which is indeed an orbital ray firing down a big space laser which doesn't do damage to be fair but seems to just give a whole host of other buffs and effects yeah the laser it itself does seem to walk forward as we can see it actually moving across this second point of midtown here as the teams are fighting and based on the colors of the laser itself it seems it's like it's probably going yellow. to be a hybrid of healing and damage boost yep. since you have the yellow and That's the blue although we really just see the heroes sort of running in and dominating the enemy by shooting them and punching them and whatnot so we don't have like a very clear-cut idea of what exactly is happening here but my guess here is that the ray is giving out a sort of aoe healing and damage boost and then it just sort of like moves forward gradually so you can sort of push up into the enemy team and maybe sort of it moves gradually because the closer you are the more you get the heals and more of the buff that's why it moves because if it hits just the floor and it just gives people the same on the on the enemy team or the team that you're on it wouldn't make more sense if it just kind of hits the ground and it moves it just feels like a big i don't know maybe the closer you are towards it the more um damage and healing you get or or um, it might weaken other people. They don't hurt them, but it weakens their damage. And it neg I don't think it negates their healing. I I'd really doubt that. But it might it might make their damage less on the enemy team, so it has some form of effect on the enemy team. But that might be a bit overpowered on that behalf, maybe, depending on who you're asking. But uh walk with the laser while gaining all of those effects an interesting ultimate and definitely one that leans more into an offensive side of ultimates as opposed to something more defensive like zenyatta's or lucio's and one which i am very eager to try out to say the least again the trial for juno begins tomorrow july 19th and yes, I will indeed be streaming it as soon as the trial goes live because I am very eager to get to try her out. Now, as I was editing this video, Blizzard went ahead and released the sort of abilities overview for Juno on their official X account. Here we can see the weapons and ultimate along with the abilities. So I just wanted to run through the info we have here as well real quick. First up for weapons and ultimate, she has...
as the Medi Blaster primary fire burst fire weapon that heals allies and damages enemies. So yes, it is like Anna's weapon where the single shot heals and hurts depending on who it hits. Her secondary fire then is the Pulsar Torpedoes, the sort of auto locking mechanic we saw. Press secondary fire to lock on, then primary fire to fire homing projectiles. Heals allies over time and damages enemies. So yes, like her primary fire, the secondary fire is also a, you know, sort of multi-purpose utility in that sort of regard. And then for her ultimate orbital ray, call down a ray that travels forward, healing allies and increasing their damage. It doesn't do damage to enemies, it doesn't give a speed boost or anything like that. It is just healing and damage boost. And then for her abilities, glide boost, glide horizontally with increased movement speed. So it is always seems to be very horizontal as opposed to the bit of verticality, which Echo gets. Although Juno does have her own sort of aerial stuff, which we'll get to in a second. Hyper ring, deploy a ring that increases movement speed of allies that pass through it. So yeah, pretty simple still, but an interesting ability. And then her passive ability, Martian Overboots. While airborne, press jump to double jump and hold jump to hover. Interesting. So she has the Genji double jump, basically. And then if she holds it, she can just sort of hover in the air, which I guess can sort of combo with So her a mix of between Genji's double jump and Mercy's floating, or probably even Echo. So that's three characters in one particular movement. God damn. So she has three characters in one particular movement. She has a homing attack. To a certain extent, like uh, when it comes to healing, it's like Life Weaver and then like um, Symmetra. But I think that only works at a. I think that homing thing only works if you're a certain distance. I don't think it just works instantly as you press it and it goes to anyone. I think you have to be a certain range uh, for it to have its effect, uh, whether it's next to your teammates or to your uh, the enemy team. Um, to me, that's what it seems to be. That's why she was super close and they made sure that the hit got hit. So it must be like a, a range thing, just like uh, like he said with Symmetra back in the day when her attack was just literally it locks onto you from a certain range. So when you got pretty close to a Symmetra, you was kind of fucked at that point. It only depended on how well you dodged as Symmetra at that point, I believe. Um, but yeah, she's a mix of a bunch of heroes. She's like seven heroes in one. And in specific situations given her kit so like she's kiriko she's life weaver she has symmetra she has um floating which is mercy she has double jump as genji she has um echo with the movements and the uh, or floating like uh, mercy but she has the movement like uh echo when flying now i don't know how fast the flying is like on us to a certain extent, not on us. Um, what's her name? Uh, 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 Farah. Farah. So it could be similar to that, but I really doubt it. But it is. Really Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. For glide boost to get like further horizontal mobility. I'm wondering how long she can hold this. If this is like an indefinite thing where she can just sort of stay airborne, I hovering doubt it. there basically. I doubt or if it. There's like a limited because if time she before did, she drops down. If she could, if she can stay in the in the air for that long, then a lot of Farahs will be fucked. Especially if your aim is really good. If your aim is really good and her, it, the way her her weapon works, Moral leathers. it doesn't really... I am not sure if the reactions are slowing down your skin study, but this is the most longest render of skin I've ever seen. Yes, it is. Actually. You do really good, though. I'm trying my best here. Again, we'll have to find out for ourselves once we actually play her in game starting tomorrow. But it is nice that we get a bit more of a look at her abilities, a bit more information about them from this here. And on that note, let me know your thoughts on this new hero by dropping a comment down below. Do you have any particular thoughts about the abilities we've seen showcased here today? Or maybe you're just excited to get to play her and I don't know want to share that either way be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe hit up that bell icon follow me on x and join my discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future overwatch 2 news streams and other content special thanks to my youtube channel members who help make these videos possible and if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards then just hit that join button down below otherwise this is master ian gamer signing off and until next time have a great day all right with that said like share share for all comment Go follow Master Eon Gamer. I'll also put Play Overwatch in the description. So that's two different creators. But the the first one was basically just Overwatch. It's the Overwatch, uh, I think, official 
YouTube channel, so I don't think anyone cares about following that. But if you want to follow Master Ian Gamer, go ahead. That'd be really cool if you guys did. Uh, like, share, share, follow, and comment. Also, follow me on Twitter and all the other platforms in the description at the bottom. Um, we're pretty much done at this point. Um, I still need to work better on my... I think I have a real problem rounding off the breasts. It's getting hard for me to... While putting too much shading, I think I have to know how to manage that better. But uh, I'll eventually get this. I'm getting it as we go, but it, it, it has its problems compared to the last time. Um, tomorrow, I'll be painting this good fella here. So look out for that. So if, so you guys can't say, oh, you're only painting women for their sex appeal. <laughs> no, I also do men as well. I draw men as well. So tomorrow, I'll be shading this big guy on TikTok. Because I know TikTok ain't gonna have a fucking problem when I'm doing or drawing dudes on my art. For some odd reason, I can draw them almost pretty much naked on TikTok and no one says anything. But when I draw a woman, just even a mannequin, oh god, we're all gonna die. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna go play Zenless, Zenless Zone Zero. Uh, I'm gonna play on YouTube, Twitch, and YouTube Shorts. And, and all that's great stuff. Yes, man. So we're going to go play Zenless. So if you guys are, care for that, um, I'm going to end the stream. I'll be back in five to ten minutes Leathers. and get everything set up. Drooling face, drooling face, drooling face, drooling face. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to... Moral Leathers. I'm going to be More painting skin this study guy. for men, please. Uh, I, well, Mr. it depends. Thanks. So we're going to do this I'm tomorrow. Back. So we're going to see how that comes out. I did this for Ari, so I took this upon myself to paint him just to see if I can do right, it. And we have our right. reference right here, so that'll be fun. So with that said, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. We're going to play some Zen. Follow me on my my uh, Discord, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, all the works. You know how that goes in the descriptions, uh, YouTube shorts, and all that great stuff. So with that Moral said, letters. I'll be right back, guys. B -B -O -I -S. All right, I'm out. I'll be right back.